sup everyone, Dante than 2015 here. And welcome to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here since the beginning, all I can say is, thanks. And now, let's start the video. This is Dante Dot 2015 here, and welcome to Thursday Rise. Today, we're doing my next reaction. It's called Truce to Two True Horror Stories Anime. Cool and Camping, made by Wancy Entertainment. If you guys want to check it out for yourself, link will be in the description. If you already have, then let's... Hold on, before we do anything, I gotta fix my hat. Now, let's begin. Number one, school back. This is not my story. It's my brother's story. Okay, so that's pretty much... Oh, okay, so what's his story, guys? Feels like an army story, by the way, like... U.S. Army's my story. Brother, or let's say Michael. Ah, huh, good name for a kid. Was sitting in his classroom while listening to his teacher. He then told his teacher that he wanted to go to the bathroom to pee. The teacher said, sure. My brother stood up and got out of the classroom and went to the bathroom. That's normal, guys, right? People normally need to go to the bathroom sometimes, guys. And I'm a... Guys, I like to act like a general, so I don't... Really, so I normally would, you know, guys, pee outside like a dog. <laughs> when he got to the bathroom, he immediately peed. While he was peeing, he suddenly heard whispers in his ears. You mean like this one, guys? Zap the killer, guys. Or, what do I come for you? Before I'm at the door. The voice was a male. He couldn't understand what it was saying, so he shrugged it off. When he was done, he was about to go back to the classroom. Not until he heard another whisper. The whisper was unexplained. Oh. It was like someone is trying to tell something but couldn't. It wasn't also words. As I said, it was some unexplained words. It's like a demonic word. You like this? I'm gonna kill your bride. Then me. Oh no! Oh no! He was also alone in the hallway, too. Oh. After he heard those whispers, he immediately ran back to the classroom. He opened the door and closed the door. The teacher looked at him and asked, Why are you crying? My brother's face was questionable. He touched his face and got shocked because he was crying. He then explained what happened and went back to his seat. His friend said, Psst, did you know that story of yours also happened to Hannah? Who? Oh, yeah, who was that guy, guys? Who was... Whispering, guys. Was it Jeff the Killer? Was it the devil? Was it just some evil demon guy who I might actually make in the future? She also once told us that happened to her. My brother was completely shocked. So it wasn't only Michael experienced that, but also her friend. Who could that possibly be? Who was whispering? I don't know, guys. Whoever it was, it must may have been a serial killer guys you know like serial it must have been ted bundy spirit guys i'm not ted bundy so don't have to worry about it because it's not me guys let's continue this happened to a friend of mine and was verified by her sister and girlfriend her girlfriend that's gay guys no i'm not offending anyone who's lgbtq i'm just saying it i'm just saying it for you know Sarcasm, because you know I'm kind of bored right now and I got nothing else to do. So I and I'm making this reaction video, guys, because I'm, I'm busy with this and I got really nothing else to do. The three of them were camping in an area in southern Utah. Sorry, I don't remember the exact location, and it was during the fall or early winter, so it got dark very early, around five. Hmm. When it started getting dark, the three of them built a fire and sat around it. Wait a minute, if it's winter, what time is it? Oh, it's only 6.19 in my area, guys. Just talking and eating. Normal stuff. Yeah? Everything was fine for a while. But they started to hear this weird chirping noise. 
She described it to me as a kookaburro call, slowed down. They got kind of freaked out at this point because it didn't sound like any regular animal. Maybe it was the witches, guys. No, no, guys. Maybe the witches have come to haunt them, guys. They also kept noticing rustling or movement out of the corners of their eyes, but could never see what was making it. After a while, they went to bed, and everything was fine. Until my friend was woken up in the middle of the night to see what looked like hands pressed up against the outside of her tent. And she heard a weird, wet breathing sound. Like when someone has a stuffy throat and kind of wheezes while breathing. Alright, the reason I paused it, guys, is because that looks like a... That look, could actually be like a witch, guys. Maybe maybe some mean, the mean old, the grumpy old witch decided to come and haunt us, guys. She said she was so scared she couldn't <coughs> talk but was able to wake up her sister. They stayed quiet, and eventually the handprints kind of just faded away. Wow. In the morning, they wanted to get the hell out of there, so they started packing up their stuff at sunrise. My friend looked around where the handprints had been and saw a trail of long, skinny footprints leading up to their campsite, but not away from it. Oh, God. Right, now, this has to have been a witch, guys. Her and her sister aren't the kind to bullshit around, so I believe that this really happened. To this day, she's convinced it was a skinwalker. Guys, me and one skinwalker, guys. It's probably just a deer, guys. You know, actually, you no, know, guys. It's probably just some, some. Maybe it's all just playing a prank on them, guys. You know how people are nowadays, all right? People like to play pranks on everyone nowadays. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. So at this time, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Go and follow me on Twitter, guys. I'm 21 followers away from 100 followers. I have 79 followers, and I got 21 more to go, guys. And you got, and you all here can help me out with this. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Keep being awesome, my team. Goodbye.